Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be a book tag and quite fittingly, as soon as I finished the series recently, I'm going to do the Robin Hobb tag. This is a tag based around the series of, by the Realm of the Elderling series by Robin Hobb. I finished this series very very recently in November and it's a series that I have loved since I was in my mid-twenties and it's one that I'm going to reread and reread. And it seems quite fitting that I do a tag based around that. Question number one is the skill. What's your favourite magical ability? I'll be honest, I think my favourite magical ability is anything involving witchcraft or wizardry because there's just such a raft of things you can do from there. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, I don't necessarily like ones that mean you've got to use a wand. Um, but yes, people who can do witchcraft, wizardry then yes, those are my favourite types of magical um, events. Question number two is Fitz, a book that made you cry. I'm not going to use Robin Hobb books. Um, I could use Robin Hobb books for every single question here. Um, so yes, definitely there are Robin Hobb books that made me sob like a baby. Um, but the one that I'm going to pick is Crashed by Kay Bromberg. This is the third book in her Driven series following, Kai, um, following Colton and Riley. Um, there's an event that happens at the end of Fueled, which follows into Crashed and then there's an event at the start in part way through Crashed um, and I just sob like a baby through the whole thing um, until they get to the happy ever after at the very end and even then I cried because it was such a happy ending um, I do really enjoy Kay Bromberg's writing she is kind of an autobi author for me so yes I do recommend her at every opportunity I get. Question number three is full. What's your favourite friendship or friend um, group? And I'm going to say the fellowship in the Fellowship of the Ring, specifically the friendship between Merry and Pippin. Um, they just make me laugh, never fail to make me laugh, absolutely love them. And yeah, they just what this friendship group goes through to get to the end of the story um and the fact that the friendship is so strong still at the end of the story um i just absolutely love it and it's part of what kept me reading the books in the first place especially with the slog that i find in the first uh, book in the fellowship of the ring um but yes definitely one of my all-time favorite friendship groups question number four is althea who is your favourite protagonist? And I have to say Rose from Rose Madder. Uh, this is about Rose McClendon, um, who is travelling across America. She's escaped from her abusive husband. And it's about what happens to her as she starts to build a new life. But also what happens after her husband catches up with her. I adore this book. It's one of my favourites. I've talked about it a lot on this channel. Um, I'm due to reread it very, very soon and yeah um don't really want to say any more than that absolutely love it always always recommending this book um if you want stephen king want something with mild well i wouldn't say mild because it's quite graphic um but not too much gore then definitely always recommend rose madder question number five is ophelia your favorite sassy character or funny book and the next one i'm going to hold up is actually both um favorite funny book and favorite sassy character so i'm holding up the color of magic by terry pratchett i love his books i see the humor in all of them they make me laugh out loud but this character right here right here this trunk with legs he is my favorite sassy character has no voice however Terry Pratchett is able to convey with a few words exactly what you think, what you know, that this animal or this being is thinking. And he just has so much attitude throughout the entire books that he features in. And I absolutely love him. Um, and yeah, I would recommend him as my favourite sassy character all day long. Question number six is the six duchies, your favourite magical world or setting. This is going to be controversial. People aren't going to like me saying it because we're not supposed to uh, promote these books anymore. But Hogwarts, I absolutely love Hogwarts. 
Hogwarts to me is about love. It's about inclusion. I don't care that JK Rowling is a turf. I don't care that her opinions do not align with mine. I care that she's managed to write about a setting where love is the main feature and love for everybody regardless of colour, regardless of race, regardless of sexual orientation. I, I, don't, I don't agree with her stance um, because I believe in inclusion um, and for that reason I no longer purchase her works. Um, I just Personally, I can separate the work from the author. I just will not monetarily support that author anymore. Um, but yes, I just adore Hogwarts. And I would love to have gone there um, to school there. I think I would have absolutely loved it. I think I'd have done really well. Um, I've been told that I am quite Hermione-like. Um, <clears throat> yes, I do have a teacher voice, um, as my current work colleagues will tell you. Um, but yeah, Hogwarts every day. Question number seven is Night Eyes, your favourite animal companion? This is a difficult one. I don't, I can't think of any annual animal companions off the top of my head. The only ones I can think of are Night Eyes from the Farseer trilogy, who is Fitz's um, animal companion, whip bonded companion. Um, in the final series, there is Motley the Crow, I think she is just fantastic um other than that i'm gonna hold up winter's heart winter's heart is book nine of the wheel of time series i think it's primarily based around perrin who has an affinity with wolves and he has a particular wolf in mind so very similar to night eyes in the hob series um and yeah that's about the only one that i can come up with um I don't know if you know what I've read previously and you can think of an animal companion um, that I might have missed pop it in the comments down below question number eight is Brashen and your favorite love interest I have to say Carrick Ryan from Revd this is a romance novel by Samantha Towell based in the world of Formula One Carrick Ryan is a Formula One driver and it's about how he falls in love with his new female mechanic, Andy. And it's friends to lovers. And I thoroughly enjoy this book. Absolutely love it every time I read it. Um, it's one of those books where I feel like the author knows part of my history and she's written it into a book. Um, because it really does feel like that when I read this um, and any others that, that Sam has written, especially in recent years. So, yeah, definitely Carrick Ryan, because um, he's tall and he's dark and he's handsome. And that's that's my bag these days. Question number nine is Kyle, your favourite villain. And I have to say the Darkling from the Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo. I loved the Darkling. He's tall. He's dark. He's handsome. And as I just said, that's my thing. I just loved The Darkling and actually I felt it was such a shame that he was a villain um however yeah um I just I was rooting for him to get together with Alina I I really was um even though he was the baddie and yeah yeah I'm one of those ones that The Darkling should have been the love interest Question number 10 is, can it a character or book you love to hate? I've got to go back to Harry Potter, the character we all love to hate, um, because if you've read the whole series, you know his reasons for everything, and that is Severus Snape. Um, he's such a slimy little character when you first meet him, um, but over the series he grows on you, and I just can't help but love him. Um, and I, I, yeah, and love to hate him too. Question number 11 is Vivacia, your favourite character or sentient object, um, not human. And I have to say Ico from the Cinder 
series. I can't remember what the series is called, but the first book is called Cinder. Iko is a robot um, who has some very human, human traits. Absolutely love her. Really sassy, um, full of fire, knows what she wants and she goes for it and I absolutely adored it. She um, just really comes through the whole series for me and I just loved reading. I, I actually enjoyed her um, as much as I enjoyed the four other main protagonists that were in that series. So that was the Robin Hobb tag. Um, if you want to have a go, I tag you. I will leave the questions down below as I always do. If you've enjoyed this video, then please, as always, give me a like and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I put up videos every Monday at 6.30pm UK time and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!